Hi, my name is Kevin Pearson, as you can see here. And today I'm going to show you how to assemble a Ouroboros Oxygraph 2K POS head or electro head uh, into the, uh, the machine. Right, so the first thing, the way the electro comes, it comes in this little vial and it's dry. Uh, this is how you should store it long term. But so the first thing, once you, you remove it, you unscrew it from the original case and before assembly so first you want to do a little cleaning make sure there's no dust or any other debris so you want to have a nice shiny gold or whatever silver electrode uh, make it nice and clean and uh, and the maintenance package comes with this pan it's called contact oil this is uh, apparently helps to establish electrical connections here with the machine. So you put a little bit of this oil inside of the uh, electrode and also um, where it's going to be screwed. I forgot the name of this piece here. So screw it. Oops, not yet. Before, make sure you remove the old ring from from here. You're going to need this later. Screw this on the uh, on the head, and there we are, nicely tight. You're gonna put very small amounts of oil surrounding the the O-ring as well. This ring is very important, so the elect electrolyte doesn't leak. Shouldn't have any damages or any cracks or anything. This will help. The whole ring to be nice and uh, tight. Remove the excess. Uh, do a little polishing again. It's very important. All right, nice and clean. So now what you're going to do is to assemble this piece, which I also don't know exactly the name, but it comes from the uh, maintenance package. You you're going to attach it by pulling this downwards, placing it tightly and releasing it. So now it's nicely placed, surround the electrode and what you do is put a few drops of electrolyte powder solution which is KCO, potassium chloride and that is kind of saturated Concentration. So what you do, you add a couple of drops, the electrolyte, potassium chloride, on the top of the electron head. After that's done, you have to uh, grab one of these membranes. From uh, it comes with a with a kit as well. So. Grab one of those. So it comes surrounded by this. Okay, this is the embarrassing part, which is gonna take me like forever. <laughs> but this is how it looks like. You remove the, the protection sheet, and really don't want to do what I just did, which is touching it with the middle of it with anything. But ideally, yep, just hold it right on the border. And you're going to gently place it on the top of your electrode head, containing your drops of potassium chloride, your electrolyte. Right. Once that's done, you assemble the plastic o ring, that's the last piece of the electrode. Place it tightly on the second part of the assembly tool here. And facing downwards without letting the uh, o ring drop, you second, okay, I messed it up already. So, yeah, the o ring 
here, make sure there are no bubbles. In between the membrane and your electrode. So no electrolyte, no, no bubbles on your electrolyte. Facing downwards. One movement down. You hear a little click. And that should be your assembled electrode. As you can see, no bubbles. And um, just remove the excess of potassium chloride. And the last part, make sure there are no bubbles. And the last part of this process is to add this little rubber jacket around the electrolyte. ready to be calibrated and you can use it. And the way you assemble the machine, it's very easy as well. You do the same movement, pressing downwards, the spring mechanism here. You just, just press once and done. Make sure that you always have a liquid inside of the chamber. The Ouroboros oxygraph chamber, otherwise the electrode and the electrolyte will dry up and you're going to have to do the process all over again. That's it. Again, my name is Kevin Pearson and uh, good luck with your experiments.